In this part of our IFIS Expert Guide to Journal Publishing series, we will be looking for key information to understand how your paper will match a journal's scope and help further its goals, why the journal exists, what it aims to achieve and who it is for. Failure to properly fit the subject scope of the journal is one of the most common reasons for immediate rejection of submissions, so this is the first and most important match you need to make. The aims and scope will most likely be found on either the home page of the journal or in a dedicated tab, usually named Aims and Scope, About section, Journal Mission or something similar to this. This piece of text will hopefully include all the information you need to determine the purpose of the journal and understand whether your paper is suitable. Important dimensions to the aims and scope include Subject Scope this first suggestion may seem obvious, but is an aspect which many authors misinterpret as evidenced by the rate at which papers are rejected. Check the specific topics the journal publishes. Is it a broad scope, multidisciplinary journal without any specific subject focus, such as the open access journals PLOS, Nature, Rio and many others? Does it focus on a specific wide-ranging domain, such as trends in food science and technology? Or does it have a very narrow focus for a specific field, such as foodborne pathogens and disease, or meat science? In addition, does the journal state that it accepts only the most groundbreaking papers which make substantial theoretical advances? This information may not be signalled as clearly as this, but look for clues in language with words such as advances in understanding or similar. The geographic scope is a potentially confusing element and one which benefits from close attention. An international journal may be interested in papers from anywhere in the world, but in what regard? The journal may be happy to receive any and all papers from around the world, focused on any topic and any population. The journal may be interested in papers focused on something relevant to populations local to the author, or the relevance may have a more broadly international relevance or application. International journals may also be interested in research with an international relevance such as authorship, involve an international range of participants and data collected on a global scale. Journals with a regional title may simply be based in that area, such as the Polish Journal of Food and Nutrition Science, publishing work from anywhere. Or they might publish work which focuses on that specific country or geographic area, such as locale, the Pacific Journal of Regional Food Studies. The aims and scope may also state the intended readership and community of the journal. Is the journal intended for primary researchers? The core readership of a journal may not be the same as the authors submitting to it. See if you can find this information in the aims and scope. Some journals may feature research that is directly useful for applied practical settings such as industry or manufacturing or farming processes. Is it a society journal, in which case does it have only a limited readership of members or is it more widely accessible and influential? For the paper you are currently writing or looking to submit, consider how well your methods, sample populations and conclusions relate to the aim, scopes and readerships to understand whether it is relevant. Finally, understanding how your paper contributes to the journal's aims and scope can be very useful information to include in a cover letter alongside your article. Pitching the value of your paper to a journal may help it be considered in more detail and receive a more careful reading than a submission with no cover letter at all. Making note of all these features of each of your journals of interest and carefully matching your paper will give you a better chance of choosing the most appropriate journal first time. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series for more information on understanding instructions for authors, peer review, journal metrics, research and publishing ethics and predatory journals. 